Welcome back guys. So I just got the heads up on a pretty interesting brand new product that I think a lot of people will be interested in. And I think it's pretty neat, but I do have some issues. So I wanna take a look at this. I know a lot of people love stuff like the arcade one-ups, uh, three quarter scale machines that they do, the new cocktail machines that they've been doing, the At Games arcade machine that just released. There's a market for that kind of stuff, but a lot of people have really been wanting something simple with a virtual pinball machine, not something they have to program and put together themselves, something akin to an arcade one up. And this company, Toy Shock, they have a brand new machine that I think is interesting. So let's take a look at their video real quick. I'm not gonna play the audio, it's just kind of annoying. There's a few things that I noticed here. Um, they are using kids to model the system, which is something I always thought like, well, arcade one up probably should have done that. So you could really tell the scale here. Um, they do have some, some older people, you know, some grandpas and the grandmas jump up in there and start playing this thing. Very interesting idea, but is it executed properly? That's what I want to talk about and take a look. So let's go ahead and get out of that. This is currently available to be ordered or pre-ordered on walmart.com. I will put a link in the description if you're interested to find out more information on it. I'm on the fence right now. I don't know 100% if I want to buy this device. Not because it's necessarily that it's expensive or anything like that, but it's just the games that are included on it, the way it looks. So here's some some little screens that they have so far. Uh, the Haunted House Black Hole 3D Digital Pinball. Um, there's actually 12 games included. So here's a, a front shot, 21C Digital, I guess is the company involved. Uh, you have uh, the little digital displays for the player one points, player two score. Uh, this is supposed to be backlit. Uh, you have a screen down here. We'll get into the dimensions in a second. The one thing I don't like when you look at this, look at how small the screen is. I believe it's 24 inches. The screen's 24 inches. Not necessarily bad, but look at that bezel around that bitch. I don't like that, but I don't know. I mean, maybe seeing is going to be believing, but I don't know. So that bezel is really off-putting. The design, they're using the haunted house design uh, for everything around it. Instead of, you know, they're not really mishmashing all the games. It just says haunted house. So I'm not sure with this back, uh, you know, display, since it's just a backlit display, if you could swap those out for the other games, which would be kind of annoying. Um, but it looks like it's just designed for haunted house. But you have 12 games preloaded. Big Shot, El Dorado, uh, Centrigrade, 37, Black Hole, Jack's Open, going nuts. I've seen a couple of these machines. These are, uh, what, Gottlieb, Gottlieb, whatever you, I can't, I, you guys know me. I don't know how to say shit. Don't correct me. I don't care. Gottlieb, whatever. Um, I've seen some of these games. They're not the most popular. They're a really old company. They've, you know, they have a lot of classics, but I never really cared too much for their games. I like the Stern Pinball machines the bally pinball machines more so the stern but here we go haunted house victory um bone busters lights camera action class of 1812 and tx sector i'm kind of familiar with a couple of these not all of them uh so here's our dimensions let me see if i can try to to get up in there you know what i'm saying get up in there we got a silver metal frame it is metal all the way around um nudge nudge button you could nudge this bitch instead of shaking it you could just press a button to nudge okay menu and select button um you do have the ball launcher which you actually pull that's cool i like that a side nudge button so you have a side nudge button on both sides and then the flipper buttons metal le legs legs got legs uh, on off switch so where's our dimensions here so from the bottom foot to the display area up front. Um, the play area up front is 31 and a half inches. Uh, so what? what is that? Two feet, like two feet, seven inches, something like that. Not very tall, man. Those kids do give a good idea of the height of this thing. And you kind of figure those kids are probably like seven or eight year olds. Um, it's not a very big machine, man. Three quarter scale, I don't know. To me, when I think three-quarter scale, I'm thinking this bitch is almost full size. I don't know how they do the math on the three-quarter scale stuff. From the feet to the the back feet to the top 
of the uh, the scoreboard is 50.5 inches. So that's going to be a little over four feet. Uh, you have stereo speakers. That's a good thing. You got your ball counter, alpha numeric display, uh, backlit illuminated back screen. Not an actual digital screen. You're only getting um, the one display screen here, 24 inch screen. Let's let's keep it moving. So here's the uh, here's the box. The box, okay. You know this is gonna get people's interest here. 24 inch LCD. They see they said 3D um, technology. I mean I don't understand what that means. The display is not gonna be 3D where it's popping out at you. I guess it's just that they re-rendered these games in 3D. So it seems like there's some kind of depth there, especially with the rails and whatnot. I love pinball, guys. I really love pinball. I just don't know if this is going to be for me um, with how how small it is. I mean, it's neat, but you have the haunted house display here or the design. You have the haunted house display on the back, but there's 12 games here. Is haunted house their most popular game? I don't know. Like I said, I'm familiar with the company in a couple of these games. I just don't know what their most popular games are. But man, if it had another display in the back, I would be willing to pay a little extra, um, have kind of a a well done mishmash of the game design around it. I, I don't know. Uh, it, it's interesting. Now, what what does this cost? When does it come out? It is three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Four hundred. Let's just shut the hell up and just say five, four hundred dollars plus tax. Twelve and one Gottlieb titles by Toy Shock. Uh, this is supposed to be coming out in just a few weeks, uh, the beginning of December, from what I understand. Let me see what other information we have here. All 3D technology and stunning 3D details. So the game's just, they're redone in 3D. Emulates, emulates actual mechanical pinball games. Individual game instructions on screen help players master each game. You have the, the alphanumeric displays, high scores recorded. That's cool. Nudge the ball in three directions. Don't tilt it or you'll lose your ball, bish. Flipper buttons, mechanical plunger. The mechanical plunger is definitely a cool thing. I've seen so many uh, virtual pinballs where you just press the button. The mechanical plunger, it, it, no matter, it, it seems like a small thing, but if you love pinball, my God. I go to the uh, the arcade expo every year, which is very close to me, uh, the, pinball, um, the pinball museum or whatever they call it, where they have thousands of games, man. And it's so much fun to play pinball. They have stuff from the beginning of time with pinball up to new stuff that's just released. You know, you got like the Game of Thrones pinball, Walking Dead, uh, all sorts of crazy stuff in their fun. All the newest Stern pinball machines. I don't own a pinball machine, but I've eyeballed for years the Tron Legacy pinball machine, the limited edition or collector's edition. You know, with Disney and all these guys like putting out their their licenses all over the place, it would have been amazing to see some stern uh, action in something like this with like, like I said, like Tron and a few other awesome ones, the Ghostbusters uh, pinball machine and the newer one that's based off of the classic Ghostbusters is amazing. There's tons of awesome pinball games that I would love to see done in a, in a, 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 a package like this, a virtual pinball, digital pinball package, whatever the hell you want to call it um, would have been amazing. What else do they say here? All games licensed, of course. Propor proportional size and realistic arcade look. Approximately 70% of a full-size pinball machine. I don't know. I never understand this math, but okay. Perfect home use size for, for little people, maybe. Okay. 24-inch display, stereo speakers, volume control, backlit back box display offers the broadest variety of games available in the market today. I don't agree with that. Easy assembly. This is the biggest thing. And I'm really hoping some other companies, you know, Arcade 1-Ups really, they, they've done some great quality stuff as of late. Not necessarily stuff for me. I know a lot of people love that, you know, those, those machines. But man, if they did a proper uh, virtual pinball, they have a ton of licenses they work with. Man, get some cool stuff. Partner up with Stern. Do some, do some amazing things. I don't know. I don't know how those licenses work, but that would be amazing. But 15 to 20 minute assembly is going to be the biggest thing um, back display plug to plug connection power cord plug and play legs solid metal two bolt screws per leg so it's like everything just fits together it's probably just going to be the two pieces the back display the gameplay area and then the legs that you just attach everything to so i definitely see this being very easy to put together 
Assembled product weight, 64 pounds. That's a heavy little fucker. <laughs> it's not that bad. Dimensions 51 by 30 inches by 17 inches. I said, that's the biggest thing. This thing is small, man. Um, going back to this video, I just want to kind of show a couple things. I know this video is probably like not a production ready machine because when you really look at it, uh, there's some issues, man. There's some issues with the way some like, okay, I, I already took a screenshot of it, so I might as well just pull it up um, right here. <laughs> like, I'm just looking at this. It looks all scraped up and jacked up. There's They probably changed the position of the holes or for the, the flipper buttons. Looks like it was probably over here, and they're like, ah. You know, they probably did some measurements off of real machines, and they, they based it off of that, and then they're like, wait a minute. We got to scale this back, right? Um, but the quality of this board that they're using with this this design on it. Ah, man, I hope the finished product is better than what we've seen in that picture there. And the picture's from this video. It's just, ah, we'll have to wait and see. I like that selection, but man, when you're seeing like the way these games look and you don't have that back display to change, that's going to be kind of sucky, man. That's going to... Uh. And these, you know, these Gottlieb games, they're not complicated games, man. They're fairly basic um, pinball games. They're, they're just basic. They're, they're not the most cutting edge newest games. They're very basic, uh, with the gameplay. They're still fun. Don't get me wrong, but they're nothing like any of the stern pinball machines. That's what I really wish I would have seen. But let, let me know guys, what do you think on this? I'll put the links in the description so you can check all this stuff out. Seems like a great idea. I'm just not sold on the, the size, the game selection, but it is exciting because I mean, I've never heard of this company before. If they could do this, there's plenty of bigger companies. This this company right here, all I've seen them do is make, uh, they make like little RC cars and just like the stuff you see at Walmart, not like higher end stuff, uh, the cheaper stuff they sell at Walmart. That's what I've seen this company sell. So for them to jump into this, man, there's gotta be bigger companies that can get better licenses and do a more quality machine. So hopefully this is just the beginning. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on this one quite yet. If it was like 200 bucks, I probably would. But I know there's going to be a lot of interest in this. There's going to be people who love those Gottlieb whatever titles, and they're going to jump on it. But, hey, let me know what you think. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-byes and boom. Bye. Thumb butt.